Hey, Care Bear. You little sleeper. You were snoring so loud. Ugh. All right. Lots of room, lots of room. It's good, man. I was just pretending. Yeah, right. Because it's his voice. I can't stand it. <laughs> He's just caring. That suicide, when he, when he sends Farmer on the suicide yeah. mission, it's just so it's serious. Amazing. The story is amazing. And they all live heavily after that. Bilbo's in there a little bit more with, like, Bilbo's kind of a, a side character a little bit. Would you be able to kill the three of the three of them? No, I, I couldn't do the Hobbits. I don't know. They go to fight a dragon, but I don't know. The yeah. Well, they watched the whole one once, but... Oh. It's crazy because the Hobbit book is tiny, and then the three Lord of the Rings books are mm -hmm. huge. And they made three movies off of this like tiny Hobbit book. Yeah, I was telling you right, how they, um, how the whole story is massive. Like the Lord of the Rings part is just like a fraction of like the big story. Yeah, there's like a Sicilian. And they even have like the, like there's a story about like that war. You know how like when they cut off his hand or his finger or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. they, there's like a whole story just on that fight and everything. And have you read that, the book, Bruno? Sorry. You've read the book? No, no. But the guy wrote um, like just tons of books. I never, I haven't read any of them. I, know that. I do that all the yeah. time. And wake up really like that. It's like one not, big giant story. Up, and they just took like this and that fraction of it, and they made three movies. Do you nap at home? Yes. I'm an avid napper. So good. Since my husband said he wanted to be like a cat, he wanted to be crossing over the property. Just drop like, Even the Hobbit ones are good, but they're not as take good. A nap. Oh, yeah, they're good movies, but they're not as good. Accomplished that. Nice. Good for him. Good for him. <laughs> I, I take, I He's nap like, every day. I nap like an hour, two hours every day. Mm. Yeah. What's that? I'm a busy guy, though. Cool. I, I got a nap. Or else I won't make it. It works. Yeah. Uh -huh. If I don't nap, I'll be I'll fall asleep like eight o'clock at night. Oh, Jim did that the other time ago. Hurt. Do you do this to yours? Okay. Do you do this to yeah, sometimes. Okay. Going to the restroom. All right, hit us with a story here, Dill. Pardon? Hit us with a story. Oh, I don't have any. I'm, oh, I'm my, sure my you life's super you guys need to, I, I need to hear some stories. My life's Not super boring. Stories. I have no stories. Boring, boring life. Oh, come on. Super boring. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I met the Rolling Stones once. That's really? Good, is that and a good that's story? that's a boring lie. <laughs> <laughs> Your boxing. When did you meet the Stones? Uh, like two years ago. They're they're they must be they're ancient, right? Are they? Yeah, they're old, like super old. Yeah. But they still go so hard. Yeah. So hard. So I'm I'm partying with them. We go to this like five star. You party with them? Yeah. We go to this like five star hardcore hardcore five star restaurant like more like seven stars and you picked your food out and then they cooked it for you and they brought it out to you like you picked your steak your lobster whatever you want so the lobster's tail was just massive it was the biggest lobsters I've ever seen I want that he said get whatever you want man so I get that and a steak and so I'm, they bring it out to me I'm eating this lobster and there's like a table of 15 people or so 12 15 people and I'm about to cut into my lobster tail. I take it out of the, the shell and it's on my plate. I go to cut into it like that. This like 80 year old guy, one of their buddies, shit faced. This like he's like 80 year old, just shit faced. Comes up. I was about to spill the water. Mm. Comes up, grabs the lobster off my, barehandedly, grabs the lobster off my plate. It's like a three pound mm. lobster tail. <laughs> Takes a big bite out of it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Hands it to me. Like I'm supposed to grab it, you know, like grab it with my hand. So I like, <laughs> like grab it with my hand. It's like, try it. Try it. Like right now, like you want me to <sighs> not use a fork? <laughs> like what? We're in like a five-star restaurant. There's suits and like Ever. all around us. Yeah. <laughs> Candlelit, wine and champagne, all that stuff. I'm like, oh, bite into it. He's like, good, isn't it? Isn't it? I'm just like, yeah, it's great. Like <laughs> what the fuck? You're just so crazy. He was the craziest guy. So the Stones have been forever. Yeah, they have, uh, their manager owns a bar downtown Toronto. Uh, and it's just full of couches. 
It's just a couch bar. It's a couch bar, yeah. It's only open Thursday and Friday night. Uh, only for Thursday and Friday, and they make a killing. Super popular. Yeah, I saw their platinum albums, their gold albums, all this stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, it was pretty epic. That's with Weck. Weck parties with them all the time. See, those are like those are like the top guys that made it. And when I worked that year at the the rock station, I'd have like no name Canadian bands coming in and performing one song, and like, you, like they're super passionate though. It's cool. Oh, yeah. To see, like, I, I don't even remember their names. They're like 60 years old, still super passionate about it. Yeah. That's sick. Damn. So you took a bite of your lobster. Barehanded, Bruno. <laughs> like, we're, we're sitting in, like, a five-star restaurant. Like, they bought me a suit because yeah. I wasn't wearing the right attire. They bought me a suit to wear yeah. to go to this place. That's sick. How did you get in touch with them? How do you meet them? Through Mike Weck. Mike Weck. Oh. Yeah, Weckerly. I don't know who that is. Off is Dragon's Den. Oh, the the guy who who bought like, yeah, into yeah. you. That's sick. Yeah, he's he's bought brought me all over the place. If you go online, can you find that episode of the Dragon's Den? Oh yeah, yeah. Cool. I have the I have just my cut like my spot cut yeah. out and put on my on my thing. That's so cool. You've been uh, on the Dragon's Den. Yeah. Really. Okay. Yeah. But you uh, you you own a project. Me. You oh. Yeah, I am the product. Okay, see. Uh, I love this show. Yeah, me too. It's cool. It took me a long time to get on too, because like, obviously I don't have a, f a physical product. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I don't have a th pr thing. So it took me a long time, just persistence, man. Like they wouldn't answer me. Then they started to answer me, and we're kind of like, well, you know, I don't know. I don't really know where the place would be for you on this thing. Like da da. -da. I didn't take no for an answer, man. It was like a year and a half of emailing, emailing, emailing. Yeah, and they finally got you on. And then they finally put me on. And they said, you said the episode was awesome. Like It was the highest grossing episode in Dragon's Den history. Yeah. Yeah. That's sweet. What's uh, Brittany? Yeah, she did it. Brittany, Brittany Blair, her dad invented a new plunger. The clog yeah. boss. The clog boss. The clog boss, yeah, I've never, seen that. Have you seen that? Yeah. The clog boss, where you put it in and you just, like pull it instead yeah. of like this, or whatever. Yeah, I've seen Yeah, that. she went on Dragon's Den. The restaurant's the only one in North America that has, it's a ager, it's mm -hmm. a, a oh, yeah, yeah. aging process, and it ages at 48 days overnight. So in one day they can age at 48 days. Yeah. Oh, good steak. It's oh, it's incredible. Literally melt, like you can cut it with a butter knife. Yeah. It's just melts in your mouth, like it's just the best, best steak ever. Yeah.